our next space, we're just going to kind of walk around and take a look at the Australia booth for just a second. Uh, there's, they're kind of busy right now, a lot of people talking, having meetings. But also, we, one of the things I enjoy looking at is a little bit of uh, kind of the areas of Australia, and especially some of the offerings that they have. For example, right now we are looking at New South Wales uh, NSW right here and the Global Hydrogen Superpower because Australia certainly has a huge impact in, um, in, uh, in this area when it comes to it. Uh, some of the advantages of this area include their, uh, their technology, mining and mineral resources, renewable energy sources out there, infrastructure, their transportation as well. Uh, so this is what we are able to see from NSW, again, New South Wales. Um, they've got a lot of the in the education out there. They've got the manpower, the uh, the I guess the uh, the talent out there, uh, and that's why Australia always comes big to these hydrogen fairs because they have a lot. And each region itself has a lot to offer itself. And so again, this is the uh, New South Wales um, Investment New South Wales. Uh, I don't know if we can see them here, but they are a newly launched Australian state organization protecting Sydney and New South Wales as Australia's business hub. Uh, and that's one of the organizations that's around here uh, right now. So next up, if we look over here, Invest in Trade Western Australia is represented here. Uh, and if I can get my information here, but Western Australia, another big player in this game, world-class renewable energy uh, resources, established energy production and export industry, and proximity to key international markets is really what makes it such a big player in this game. Now they have renewable energy resources. They have lots and lots of land, um, low intensity land use combined with low population density. There's plenty of places to do large scale renewable energy generation. And of course, existing infrastructure as well. They have world-class industrial and export infrastructure that can accommodate the development of the hydrogen industry in Western Australia. And so that is the booth that is being uh, represented right now. Uh, so there's also the Australian Government, Australian Trade and Investment Commission. Uh, it's the International Trade Promotion Investment Attraction Agency uh, bringing about this information here. Now, Austrade is an expert in connecting Australian businesses to the world and the world to Australian businesses. Now, they are helping to provide market and industry insights uh, to Australian companies, but also to companies that are interested in coming to Australia. Uh, we're also looking at Global Australia as well uh, as one of the other companies that are involved, uh, or organizations that are involved as well. Um, Queensland, Australia, Investment and Trade Queensland, another large area uh, of significant investment capabilities here. Uh, Queensland is also represented here uh, in this area. So those are some of the Queensland hydrogen products you're looking at. They're currently in a meeting right now um, and you're looking at the, actually the, the brochures right now, but there are plenty of Queensland hydrogen projects um, all around. We'll take a look at the maps as soon as he turns a little bit to the left with that camera. Um, but right now you're looking at just the front there. And if you look behind, right behind the meeting that's going on, you see all the Queensland's hydrogen products. Camera's still not going there yet, but uh, it, it's there. If you come to the booth, you'll be able to see that. So we got to do a little quick tour of the Australia booth and see a little bit of what they're offering, which is mostly some information about the companies there through their trade organizations that are, uh, that are represented here at their booth.